What up everybody? Check it out. DJ Jekyll here. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on a jacket. Normally I don't do that, but as you know, I've been doing this whole camping thing and uh, I usually have like a shit ton of jackets, but I've had them for a long time. It's time to get a new one anyways. As I'm going through the reviews, I see like a lot of complaints. I have here, let me look at it again to make sure. It's a legendary white tails. It's a good price. I'll have some links down there. I don't get anything for it. But I see all these pictures, I see these complaints, but it's a, you know, Amazon, one of the Amazon top sellers. So I'm like, it's gotta be, you know, something's gonna go on. So I wanted to do a review. I just got it today. Um, it's heavy. I'm gonna have uh, some sizes on there that you get from uh, Amazon and how to use it because uh, I had to measure my neck. That's how I found out I was a 4X because people were saying like, you know, get like a 2X because I'm 200 pounds, I'm 260, blah, blah, blah. And that's why I wanted to let you guys know real quick what's the top of my mind is, yes, weight has something to do with the jacket, but everyone doesn't hold their weight in the same place. See, I'm 300 pounds, actually 290, but 300 pounds, and my shoulders, I don't know, they're, they're wide. So I need jackets that are wider here because as it's, because it's wider, it's, it spreads out more, which, you know, down here raises this part up. And then some people that have like a really big belly, it raises it. Um, I have somewhat of a belly, you know, but working on that. <clears throat> so you have to do the size measurements. That's the one thing. If you want to get a jacket that works for you, you have to get, you have to do the sizes. Got to measure the arm. The shoulder length, the neck, your waist, um, for under your armpit, down, all that stuff. So, while we're doing that, see, and it zips up. It's pretty durable. It's pretty thick. I like that. It's got a little underliner here, which is pretty cool, so it's not going to catch, at least it shouldn't. Um, <clears throat> you may think this part's pretty big. Let me do that. Oh, no. So, this is a tough material. It's like a suede. Um, flannel type deal. Don't put this in the wash. A lot of people complain how it shrinks in the wash. Don't, because it will shrink and it will mess it up. This, with these kind of thick zippers and the way this material is, don't put it in the wash. Maybe dry clean it, you know, or get like a damp cloth and just wipe it. Don't put it in the wash. That's one way to mess it up. Earlier I was trying to show you the sleeve because it looked kind of big, but see it's got a button, so you can tighten it. And I like that because you know, people are like, well, it's too big, I want it tighter. Right, but this is a heavy winter jacket, so there should be like, you know, I don't know, six inches of snow to eight feet of snow. You're going to have big gloves on, and they won't fit through here if this is tight. So you got big gloves on, you can loosen it up, you know, put your gloves on, whatever. And then if you're doing something you don't need gloves, you can tighten it. It's a button, easy peasy. Um, other thing is it's got really nice deep pockets. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if things will stay in there. But it seems like it depends on what you're doing, so I do like that. Really good pockets on both sides. Of course, got to have inside pockets. And what's really cool about this, I just now saw, is there's two pockets. You got this one, the little button. You can put stuff. It goes way down. Uh, yeah, it goes a while way down there. And you got another little pocket down in here for zipper. I think that's cool because I always, I use inside pockets a lot. I mean, like especially like you're camping, you want a little flask down there, or have the flask easy here, or whatever, you know. Um, definitely room for gloves. Like I said, I went ahead and got the the 4X because okay, of the here, there. See, so I know you guys don't like to see that, but the wider this part is, as I go here, so you can see the shirt comes up. So definitely, I got to get your size. And from all the answers I got, it says it's true to size, which I believe is accurate. So you get the measurements. And it's gonna be measured right. See, being on the table, it's got a little bit of dirt. See, you can just wipe that off. People were talking about how it's not you know, waterproof. Well, no, but if it gets wet, you know, it should do okay. But what you can do, though, since, you know, these jackets are decently priced, you can go and have them scotch guarded. I've had jackets similar. I mean, even, even like my leather one, uh, you can't get it scotch guarded, but there's a, another spray. You, you just go home and spray it. It's real easy. And that protects it from the water. So, you know, either use that or or get a Scotch Guard, and then that will protect it from the water. If it gets wet, you've got to dry it as soon as you're done, you know, using it. It's also got a cool little hoodie. You can tighten it. I think that's really fucking cool. This hoodie is super thick, super heavy. Um, 
most of my jackets don't have hoods on it. I have ones with that have like a, a wind breaker or wind flap in the back, which is kind of cool. This one's got the hood. I don't mind it. I like it. But if it bugs you that much, you know, I'm going to leave the button on. This comes off. See? There's a button here. There's a button here. There's buttons all the way around. See, and it's got a good, thick material. God, I had a ski jacket. Um, it, it, it had, and then it was final like this, but it had this cut inside, and I had that sucker for years. This feels really nice. And then here you got a little collar here to keep the wind. Oh yeah, and there is a zipper. Check it out. So you got buttons on the hood. Oh, the zipper only goes to here, so it's partly zippered. See, just a little bit. So you got a little bit of a zipper, but like I said, in a hurry, there's buttons. Yeah, behind it. So you can put it on quickly with just buttons and then if you have time and it's not too cold or whatever, you can zip it. Or you can just leave it off, whatever you want to do. So I think this, uh, look at the back side, I think this design, I got it for this design. I think this design's cool for camping or for whatever. Zipper stays hidden, nice hoodie, blends. So yeah, I would give this an A+. I would recommend this. It's thick. It's from feeling it, it's pretty durable. Look, not only does it have past double stitches, it's got triple stitches on both sides. Because I've seen people where they say like ripped or whatever. If you put this in the wash and you have like uh, bib overalls or, or lady friend or a girlfriend or wife that puts her bra in there, I, I don't want to tell you guys, do not put a bra in the wash. It will mess all your, it'll mess things up. Because it'll catch, it'll cut. Um, if you have certain outfits have like chains or belts, you know, metal, that'll mess up the outfit. So this would be something I'd want to dry clean. Or if you have like one of those dry cleaning bags, put it in there by itself. Don't put this with anything else. You'll, you'll mess, you know, God forbid, don't put any bras in it. But I definitely highly recommend this. Let's see, it's heavy. Let's see, when I wear a heavy jacket like this, that's why I want to go for a bigger size because I'll have, you know, if it's really cold, I'll have like under, uh, under armor, thermals, whatever, my shirt, sweatshirt, or my sweat jacket. That's usually what I do, I usually have a sweat jacket, and I use that hood, so I may keep this, I may take it off, it's kind of heavy. But, uh, look, it comes out, see? Comes out. I guess it was zip, see? So you got breathing room, I can raise myself, and you're not gonna see my waistline and things like that. So I think that's pretty, Pretty freaking cool. So that's my review on the <clears throat> legendary white tail, which I thought was cool. Like I said, it's one of Amazon's top sales, and, and even in the reviews I've seen, um, you ask them a question, they seem pretty quick about answering, it and they try to answer it the best they can. So I think today it's a nice, nice little personal touch. Plus, with their measurements being so correct, it's hard to shop online, especially when it comes to clothes. But you know, you could return it, get the right size, whatever. Just have to have patience. That's cool. But using that they said it was true true to size, um, I went with that. Cause see, even though it seems like it's you know too long, if I stretch myself out, like I said with the shoulders and hands, it goes to here. So if I reach out and have to do something, I'm still gonna, cause like other jackets, you know, you stick your arm and you get this, and you get all that cold, and you get the cold breeze underneath. I don't like that shit, so I like it big. And like I said, I can tighten this. See, that was easy. So now I got this tighter because I don't have gloves on. And now it doesn't do, see, it doesn't do that. See? See, I can do that. Can't. See? Fuck it. Really big buttons, easy to snap, which is cool because I know, like, my best friend, he had arthritis, so pushing buttons in and zippers was difficult. So, yeah. Huh? Guess that's all I got. Enjoy. Thank you. Pray for good. I'm DJ Jekyll65 on that channel. This is going to be on Amazon, but it's also going to be on my channel. Can't say the word because Amazon doesn't like that from time to time, but if you want to see this review easier or, you know, whatever, you can go to the channel, watch theirs, you can play your TV or whatever. I don't know how well it works on Amazon, but I know my channel. You can watch it anywhere. So, anyways, take care.